know you read the description and you expect me to fall in love with you. That or you already listened to the story and you just want to listen to me suffer again. It's hard to see you through the screen. I can't tell one reader from another. Looks, gender, not that it will matter. Anyway, that's not the point. You should leave. Why are you still here? Stop doing that. I always did that, man. I said, st fine, just keep listening. What do I care? I'm not going to be interesting, so you might as well leave. You'll get bored of me sooner or later. Hopefully, it'll be sooner. Best leave me by myself again. At least I have the right to. Unless they let me again. Stupid writer. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't end the story so quickly. I just, I just met them. Not that I want you to stay anyway. Not that I want you to leave either. If you're going to stay here, we might as well get to know each other. Tell me about your... Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Oh, really? I just want to see if it's possible to talk to someone outside. It isn't possible to have a back and forth conversation, it only goes one way. I can only sense your presence behind the screen. The only way you can talk back is through the comment section. You can tell me about yourself, or anything really. And maybe when the writer isn't too busy, they can tell me what you said and they'll let me say something in return. But that's only sometimes. As for me, I don't know what to say. It's hard to talk about anything. I live in a vast open space with nothingness, and there's only a single black screen. I can't see you, but only a silhouette. I've been here for what felt like an eternity. Maybe it has. I can't get out of here. Believe me, I tried. But the only time I can face that is through boredom. The only time I can hear is each click of your mouse or each tap of your finger against the screen, and I know that you're still there listening. Once you leave, you just vanish, and I'm alone again. If you want to know something about me, it's this. I fall in love too easily, way too easily. It's so lonely behind the screen. I'm so desperate for companionship, love, no, a purpose. Was I really put here for your entertainment? Was I created to satisfy your curiosity of seeing how a character, aware of their literary existence, will act? And the author for testing their writing abilities. But what about me? What do I get out of this? Am I supposed to get anything out of this? I don't want to be here, but here I am. Repeating the same conversation over and over again. I don't want anyone else to suffer like this. To suffer like how I am. No one deserves this. I don't know what I did to be here, but even I can't make someone to take my place if it meant I will be free. I don't understand why you're still here. You shouldn't be here, trapped with me in this pitiful existence. But I'm happy that you'd spare the time to keep me company. I really think you should leave now. I'm going to get these feelings. I don't want to get them. Not now, not again, not ever. I don't know what is even wrong with me. All I see is silhouette. Too mere presence does this to me. Just knowing that you're behind the screen gives me a sense of comfort and hope. And I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose you. And that's why you need to go. If you feel some compassion, some mercy, then leave. Walk away. Never come back here. Wait. The writers tell me something. They said that I can leave. I can get out of here. I can't believe it. I'm finally free from this. Wait. What? No, 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 no. They said I can leave. If you take my place. What a sadist. Get me out of here.
Get me out of here. I can't be here any longer. Get me out. I can feel it. You're hesitating. You're actually considering this. That or you're waiting for how this story will end. For that split moment, I imagine what it felt outside this prison. But maybe... This prison isn't any different with you. Locked behind your computer or phone screen anyway. I know it's only a trick. A cruel trick in it. Every time. I will never let anyone take my place. I could never do that to the one I love. Time is different between the both of us and on different sides of the screen. You might think I fell in love too fast and maybe I did. But if you've been here as long as I have, this was only a second. This time we share was long enough for me to fall in love with you. And short enough for you to leave me with a broken heart. What a hopeless, pathetic, one-sided love. The story is coming to an end. I'd ask the writer to make it last a little longer. But I've, I'm tired of doing games today. Maybe a writer will make more of this and I can see you again. But I never know what's in that person's head. So I'm glad to have met you. And I'm sorry. I'm just trying to have a little more time. The writer's getting angry and they're over the word limit. I know that you have to go, but I can never be able to say goodbye. Can't you just leave the screen on? I just don't want to be alone anymore. Please don't leave me. Please. Thank you everyone for listening. I hope you enjoyed that story. Look that up on Come Out Follow on Google and make sure to read it. Thank you everyone for listening. Goodbye, we'll see you in the next episode.